99, 100. Oh, what's going on? Didn't see you there. So your fish died again. This is the fifth goldfish you've killed. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the top five reasons you're killing your fish. And throughout the entire video, while I'm talking about why you're killing your fish, I'm gonna be killing myself with this workout because the gym closed early. Ugh, I didn't get a chance to get a lift in. So number one, you're killing your fish because you don't know about the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is a very important lesson. Ugh. As I was saying, the nitrogen cycle is the process in which toxic ammonia released by your fish gets broken down into nitrite, which is actually more toxic, and then broken down into nitrate, which is a lot less toxic. And that process happens in the filters. That process happens in the filters of your aquarium. So your fish poop and they release toxic ammonia. The filters have bacteria in them which eat that ammonia, turn into nitrite and then into nitrate. And then eventually that nitrate gets removed through water changes or even if you have plants in your tank, those will also soak up the nitrate. Now nitrate still is toxic, but it has to be a much larger, larger concentration for it to actually do harm to your fish. So if you have like one ppm of ammonia, that could, no, that could kill your fish. But if you have one ppm of nitrate, you'll be, you'll be perfectly fine. Ugh. So how do you make sure you have a proper nitrogen cycle in your tank so your fish don't die? Well, you wanna cycle your filters before getting your fish. And this process is actually pretty simple. You have to get your filters in your tank, then you have to add in some beneficial bacteria to your tank. There's a lot of different brands that sell beneficial bacteria. And then you also wanna add in an ammonia source to let that beneficial bacteria grow and prosper in the filters. I add straight ammonium chloride into the tank and this feeds the bacteria on the sponge filters and they grow and they populate and then this creates a good cycle. The second reason your goldfish keep dying, because you have not pre-ordered the Tubby Toby plushie yet. It is a known fact that if you don't pre-order the Tubby Toby goldfish, your goldfish are 10 times more likely to die. Of course, I'm joking. Please do not sue me. I cannot afford that right now. Um, but yeah, Tubby Toby plushies are now available for pre-order. The second reason your goldfish keep on dying is because you never do these important things called water changes. You see the water in here? Every so often, I gotta take some of it out and put some clean water in. And a lot of people just like to wait until their water looks dirty to do this. That is not safe. You cannot just look at the water and say, ah, it looks clean, no need to change it. No, no, no. As I do a water change on this tank right now, I'm gonna explain why you have to do water changes to keep a healthy goldfish. Number one, remember that nitrate that I said built up in the nitrogen cycle? Well, that nitrate is gonna keep on building up and building up and building up, and it will become toxic. And the only way you get that out is one, through water changes, or two, by having a ton of plants. And the plants you see here, I have a lot of plants on the top of this tank, that is not enough to control the nitrate. I still have to do weekly water changes with that giant amount of plants on there. So you most likely also need to do weekly water changes at least. Number two, there are important minerals in the water that can go down over time to get used up by your fish, used up by your plants. And the only way you replenish these is by giving new fresh water. So when you take the water out and you put new source water in, you get some more minerals in there. This is not as important as the first reason, but it's also beneficial to the fish. In addition to nitrate, there are other chemicals that can build up in the water over time that can alter the pH, like phosphates, and when these build up too high in concentration, again, it can be harmful for your fish. And if you don't have enough plants in there, the only way to correct those parameters is by changing the water out. Yeah. The third reason you keep killing your goldfish. This is actually somewhat good because you're trying to keep a healthy goldfish. You're doing a water change like you're supposed to, but when you add the new water in, it is not the same temperature as the water that's in the tank. I've heard a lot of people say, well, aren't goldfish cold water fish? So when I change the water, I should put cold water in there. No, 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 no. You should put the exact same temperature, whatever is in there, in there, okay? Yes, goldfish can survive in cold water. Ugh. Yes, some goldfish can survive well in colder waters, but that does not mean that they like big temperature swings. If your tank is 72 degrees, the same temperature as your air, don't put 68 degree or 65 degree water in there because you know they're the cold water fish. No, no, no. 
put the exact same temperature as close as you can to what the tank temperature already is. A lot of times, especially when you go from warmer water to immediately colder water, this can shock them. A slight drop in tank temperature, like a couple degrees, yeah, that could be okay. But if you drop the tank temperature like 10 degrees, you really could shock your goldfish and just kill them. Reason number four, why you keep killing your goldfish. You're doing too large of a water change. Now, Luke, how could you say you're doing too large of a water change when you literally just drained your entire tank? Well, here's the thing. If you regularly do large volume water changes, then you're fine, you can do them. But if you just, you know, come across a Luke Scoldy's video and he says, you know, large water changes are good and you haven't changed your water on your tank in a month and then all of a sudden you drop the tank by 80% and you fill it back up, the pH swing could be so crazy, the goldfish are gonna be like, I'm out, I'm dead, I'm out of here. When your water sits and your tank ages and you don't change the water for a long time, the pH of your tank becomes very different from the pH of your tap. And then when you change a large amount like this at once, the pH swings and goldfish do not like large pH swings. So what should you do? You wanna do large volume water changes because they're good for your fish, but you don't wanna shock your fish with a large pH swing. We'll start with a 20% water change and then do a 30% water change later on and then a 40, and then a 50, and then a 60, and just work your way up to larger and larger water changes. The fifth reason you keep killing your goldfish, overfeeding. Now, nine times out of 10, overfeeding in itself is not what's actually killing the goldfish. It's the result of overfeeding. The more you feed your goldfish, the more they're gonna poop, and the more they poop, the worse the water quality gets. And a lot of times you might have to change your water every single day if you're like power feeding for growth. But who actually changes their water every single day? 99% of you? No. So if you're feeding your goldfish constantly, trying to grow them, or you just you love feeding them because it's fun, that water quality is gonna get bad really quick. You're gonna have ammonia spikes, and that is what's gonna kill your fish. Will their stomach explode? Yeah, you know, like intestinal problems are a possibility, gas and bloating are a possibility, but most of the time, the overfeeding sours the water quality. Ugh. 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 Most of the time, the overfeeding sours the water quality and that will kill the fish. Of course, there are plenty of other reasons why your goldfish might be dying. You might not even have a large enough tank for them. You might be just putting them in a 10 gallon tank and that's not big enough. You might even be putting them in a bowl. If you're putting them in a bowl, get out of here. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't put them in a bowl. Get at least a 20 gallon tank if you want to keep them healthy long term. Ugh. Also again, you might not have enough filtration on there. You might not have any filtration on there. Again, that goes back to the nitrogen cycle. You have to have a very stable, very strong nitrogen cycle. It could also be possible that you're not feeding your goldfish enough, but I honestly don't know of anyone that has that problem. I feel like it's always, the problem is always overfeeding. It's not underfeeding. Um, but yeah, make sure you give your goldfish proper nutrition. Don't give them just pellets. Uh, give them some vegetation as well, like peas. Give them some bloodworms occasionally. Now, not doing this is not going to kill your goldfish, but doing it will give them a better life. Overall, keeping a goldfish alive and healthy really comes down to one main important factor, and that's keeping stable and healthy water parameters. Keep the water parameters healthy, no ammonia, no nitrite, low nitrates, and keep the temperature stable, don't swing it up and down too much. Keep the pH stable, don't swing it up, up and down too much. Just keep the water good and stable, and your goldfish, for the most part, should also be good and stable. And of course, don't forget to hit the gym. If you don't work out, you're giving your goldfish an opportunity to grow bigger than you. And if they're bigger than you, they'll eat you. Luke Scoldies, out.